Thumbs up. Thumbs up from Jeff Johns will do. Alright. Hey, how you doing? Hello. My name is Patrick Nasty, the vocals of Vader Vader. And my question is for Jeff Johns. I heard you mention before Richard Donner, and I was hoping that you followed the gospel according to Donner and practice verisimilitude. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, because yeah, I really yeah. like Richard Donner a lot. The verisimilitude is a word he put up in the production office of Superman that meant truth, and he meant everything was grounded in reality except for Superman. And that's exactly what Martin Campbell and Don Belind, this entire cast have done. This thing is, this is as real as it gets. So absolutely. And you have a very strange name. <laughs> I just want to know if there's there was going to be an appearance of Mogo in the movie. Uh, there's a lot of Green Lanterns in the film. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got one more Green Lantern Sector Three Nine Two One. Hi, uh, my name is John. Uh, hypothetically, if you were to make the uh, DC characters, who would you make next as far as movie-wise? Hypothetically. Green Lantern 2. Thank you. You know, one of the things that a, a superhero has to decide, Mark and, and Ryan, is how to fly. And I know that you guys, it's an interesting process of how you're actually going to manifest as you're flying on screen. Could each talk a little bit about that and your different style of flying? Yeah, each, each Green Lantern has a kind of a distinct fingerprint of, of how, how it is that they fly. And it's, and it's obviously uh, distinguished by who they are or what their background is. And, and uh, the thing, I, I guess that it's a, sort of elaborates on that a little bit, is that it's very easy to make all the flying, the flight in the film CGI. And I love that these guys have figured out such elaborate and articulate rigs that we get to really spend time up in the air and, 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 and actually fly. I mean, these things can do things and bank in certain ways and make right turns and left turns and somersaults that you just couldn't do even a few years ago. So um, the flight part for me has been one of the, the most exciting and most fun aspects of, of, of filling the shoes of, of the Green Lantern. So. Um, and obviously the other guys do, do a bit of flight themselves. I think pretty much everybody in this movie gets up in the rigs at some point. Yeah, I was doing a bit uh, a couple of days ago. We had uh, a scene, uh, they had these amazing kind of wires that take you up uh, off the ground, the horizontal, and like Ryan says, they kind of allow you to bank and fly, and it feels like being a kid again. It's amazing. You know, Martin, the, uh, one of the things that uh, is, is, is wired into this film is uh, aviation and sort of the, the, uh, the, the frontier uh, the test pilot mythology, things like that. Can you talk a little, about, a little bit about that? That sets Green Lantern apart from other heroes as well, doesn't it? Uh, <clears throat> Hal being a test pilot. What's that? Hal? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Hal Jordan is a, is a test pilot. That gives you a lot me, of love. And, um, and Carol Ferris is a pilot as well. And there's a very good sequence in the film <clears throat> where they both have to go up and demonstrate a uh, they're both flying two F-35s, and they're flying them against two UCANs. Those are pilotless robotic planes, and they have to demonstrate how these, because the um, robotic planes are indeed have been produced by Ferris Aviation, and the idea is, of course, that the um, a, a new con if if this demonstration goes well, then the um, government will give a, a big contract to Ferris Aviation. And Hal and Carol go up and go in competition uh, with these two uh, UCATs, and it's a it's a very exciting sequence. And of course, um, uh, by the end of it, Hal does what Hal does best and pushes the whole thing to the limits. And uh, it's a very exciting sequence. And also, the fact that Carol's a pilot is very interesting, certainly up to um, Hal's standard. And they're very competitive with one another. And uh, it's an interesting aspect of the movie, actually. The um, both of them being pirates. So you it's know, actually one of my favorite sequences. You know, I know that uh, it's hard to believe, but we've actually run out of time. But I am told that, Ryan, that you yeah, have... I, I, this is something I'd like to say before we go. Um, this ring, which I'm extremely attached to, it's, it's been with me for the last six months. Uh, there's a great tradition, as many of you may know in the Green Lantern Corps, that these rings are passed on from one to the next. 
potential Green Lantern. And I think, I think it would be only fitting if I parted from this ring here, and particularly left it with an audience member in this crowd. So, I think that'd be pretty good. To figure out exactly how to do that. Well, I want everybody to be a little calm as you try this, but if you look under your seat, and you have a magic piece of paper, we will have you raise your hand. Okay, this is great. Okay, now we're just gonna run away. <laughs> I know. If no one has the, the ticket, that little kid gets it. Oh, yeah? We'll come backstage and get the ring. This means we're married, but it's safe. <laughs> Does somebody have it? Do we have a winner? Do we actually have it? Oh, we do. Good. Here we go. Yeah! How about that? All right, so we'll see you backstage and then Ladies and gentlemen, the cast and the filmmakers behind Green Lantern. Thank you.